Mangla sir, your life and contributions in librarianship in India is considered as exceptional and as a role model for library professionals in the country. Please provide us some tips to become a better library professional. Say so, Salman, I must say that uh, once uh, I had decided finally to join the field of library and information science, I had taken a vow in my mind that whatever I can do, I must do with devotion, with my full dedication, and I feel very happy that I was able to maintain that sort of a rhythm in my functioning in the profession. I must say that uh, I got the opportunities to hold prominent positions. I may like to add one or two things for information here, that at a very early age I became a professor and also quite at an early age it was a unique experience for me to be the Dean of Faculty of Arts in Delhi University sometime in 1976 and it's difficult to believe that at the age of 40 I was the Dean because in those days and even today, there are people who will not be able to occupy that position easily. And Dean Faculty of Arts in the University of Delhi is the senior most dean. I must mention that uh, the first meeting which I had to chair as Dean of the Faculty of Arts, where other deans of the Delhi University were to be participants, they could not believe that a professor of library science could also become a dean. It was a unique position I got, not only in Delhi University, but in the country as a whole. But till that time, there was no professor of library science functioning as dean in the, university, in the country as a whole. Now, in those days, I, I'm able to recall that once I was uh, listening to a lecture, by a great orator, Swami Ranganath Nanda, who was associated with Ramakrishna mission. And the topic was how to be an efficient functioning person in this world. And he gave a few suggestions which I made a record of, not only on paper but also in my mind. Number one, to be efficient in this world, you must have as much knowledge as possible about the discipline which you have adopted. And this I took it for granted that until unless you get involved in studies, in understanding of the discipline which you have been given, you will not be able to achieve much in this world. And I accepted it and tried to implement it to the extent possible. Number two, the second point which I feel like reiterating and mentioning to the young people all the time, that have full faith whatever profession has come to your choice. And it is I here I feel that one should always feel proud whether one is functioning as a teacher or whatever position one is holding. And I was always reminded as a student of history that people from the British Empire, when they were fighting, then they were having wars, they always had a big aim, and that was that they must rule over India as a colonial power. They had a determination. And I always notice that such determination always takes you far ahead. So I had taken a determination that I have to be in the profession and library science is considered to be a good profession 
and that is another point which always helped me in order to get involved in various professional matters and develop myself to the extent possible. Number three, which I feel like mentioning, is that whatever you do in life, it is here I am reminded of Ranganathan's statement, also in the scriptures, Shravan Chintan Manan. In those days, Shravan was considered to be something because the knowledge was being <coughs> given, was being communicated. There was no written media and listening was the only medium which was being used, but today Shravan means reading and also listening. Chintan, all the time you must debate about everything which you are listening and which you are studying in your mind. And the third part which I feel proud of and must be understood by people, whether whatever age group you are in, and that is Manan. I find the proper equivalent of Manan is assimilation. Wherever I give lectures, even today, that if you do not have manan, if you do not have assimilation, whatever you are doing in life, you are not able to absorb. And it is in that process one must absorb and retain what is relevant and discard what is not relevant. And it is here I find that some such mechanism helps you to be active, proactive, and another thing which I always feel proud and I always feel mentioning about it is that you must also be a good communicator. And this is something where I insist and emphasize that in order to communicate and tell others what you can express in the best possible manner are some of the ways which have helped me and where I feel that such, such practices must be adhered to and followed by the people, whatever profession they are, whether it is library science or it is teaching or whatever walk of life they have. And this is where I feel that I had been impressed by some of these sayings of Vivekananda, Swami Ranganathananda and others which have helped me and which I adhere to even today in my age after retirement. Can you mention, I like to mention here, Salman, yes. that after retirement from De Delhi University, I was uh, living a comfortable, professional and active life when all of a sudden, one day, I was told that I could become a national, Tagore National Fellow. At that time also I thought it was too late for me to accept such honors, but still I accepted it because I thought that after all it's a dedication to the profession and I feel that I could work on that project and it is in that context I feel it's a process of understanding, process of thinking which keeps you active and that has, that has helped me all along in my professional career.